Uh, hello, my name is Corey Gannon, the Battalion Chief of Training for the Owensboro Fire Department. We're here at Station 1, and today what I'm going to make for you is a uh, pork loin that's going to be stuffed with jalapenos and cream cheese, and we're going to wrap it in bacon. So, first thing we're going to do is we are actually going to take our pork loin, and we're going to trim it out to where we open it up in three different directions. We're trying to cut it open without cutting all the way through it, so we're just going to kind of fold over to one edge. And once I kind of get that edge open, I'm going to switch and I'm going to start going the other direction. So once we kind of got it opened up enough, next thing we're going to do, after we wash our hands, take our cream cheese and we'll take one block is usually enough for one pork loin. We'll do half a block on the bottom, half a block on the second fold. We're just going to drop it in there. We're going to start to spread it out on that bottom part of that pork loin. Once we get it spread out, we're going to go ahead and do a little seasoning. On the first bottom, we'll do a little pepper, maybe a little too much pepper, but that's okay. A little salt, and I like garlic in mine, so we're gonna do a little dash of garlic. In the next part, we're also gonna load it up with some of these jalapenos. Gonna give it a little kick, but it's also gonna provide us a little bit of uh, moisture for the pork loin as well. So once we're done with that one, we'll roll it back up on top of itself, as so. You can use toothpicks if you need to, to kind of hold it in place as well. We'll take that other half of that cream cheese, and we'll spread it out on this section, and it can overlap. Take our jalapenos, garlic, oh hey Kobe, some salt, and a little pepper. And lastly, all you do is you fold it back over. Kind of make sure everything's kind of in there. So that's the hard part. Next step is the bacon step. Now, you can do this however you want. I like to make it a little bit fancy when I do mine. So I usually braid the bacon together to uh, make it stick a little bit better. I like to take it, I like to braid my bacon through it, kind of stretch it out a little bit, and there we are. The bacon braid is done. So now, the next thing we're gonna do is we gotta move our pork loin over into the braid. I kinda like to put my cut side down just because then I'm gonna roll this back up on top of it. Depending on how big of a pork loin you get, it may not fully wrap all the way around it, and that's okay. They don't have to be pretty. Make sure it's covered. We'll flip her back over. That's kind of our finished product right there. So now we are going to bake it in the oven. You can smoke it, you can throw it on the grill, whatever you want to do today, we're just gonna put the oven. I cook it about four to 425 until it's done. It'll probably take about an hour or so for this one to cook. Shot time. Let's see. So here we are, we've been cooking for about an hour and a half, a little over, and uh, we should be done here. Temperature wise, so we're down 155 degrees. Once we get it out, it's pretty much, you can let it sit, let it rest for a few minutes. You can see some of it's kind of started coming out. We got some, the bacon's nice and cooked, not too burnt. So usually within the firehouse, we'll add something, we'll get macaroni and cheese, we'll get green beans, some other type of vegetables. Cook all that up with it, and then it's uh, bon appetit. Enjoy, give it a whirl.